right, so now we're really going to do something here. We've got the unit circle. We're going to find exact values all the way around the unit circle. We're going to do a lot of examples here. All right, so find the exact value of sine pi on 4. Now, I'm going to draw that on the unit circle. Uh, it looks like boop, boop, that. Now, sine pi on 4, what I'm really doing is finding the y coordinate of that dot. Don't, don't forget that. So I'm finding like this bit here. Okay, now how am I going to do it? Well, it's really straightforward. I just go over here to my two standard triangles. I find pi on 4 and I do sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse, 1 over root 2. And you should know that you, that can also be written as root 2 over 2. All right, that's really straightforward because that was in the first quadrant. So that's not hard at all. Um, I could just do some other ones in other quadrants. That's going to make our life a little harder. All right, more complicated here, cos 2 pi on 3. Now, let's first of all draw that on our unit circle. So pi on 3 is here, it's 60 degrees. So 2 pi on 3 is over here. It's 120 degrees. Uh, 2 pi on 3. And we're trying to find cosine of 2 pi on 3. So we're trying to find this coordinate here, the x coordinate of our dot. Okay, so how are we going to do that now that we're in quadrant 2, not in quadrant 1? Well, what we want to do is come up with what we call the reference angle. We want to come up with theta here. Now, how do we come up with theta? Well, if you move it back into quadrant 1, you can see that that's theta there, which is pi on 3. But we can, we can be a bit more fancy than that. What we can say is that cos 2 pi on 3 is equal to cos pi, that's 180 degrees, minus 2 pi on 3, minus the thing we found. All right, we're nearly there, but remember C, A, S, T. We're finding the x-coordinate of that dot. The x-coordinate of that dot is negative. Okay, what's pi minus 2 pi on 3? Well, I sort of gave the game away earlier. It's this angle here, it's the leftover angle, which is pi on 3. Okay, so negative cos pi on 3. Uh, let's see, pi on 3. So now we just need to figure out what cos pi on 3 is. Um, adjacent over hypotenuse 1 half. So our answer to this whole problem here is cos 2 pi on 3 is equal to negative, because we're in this second quadrant and it's cosine, um, pi minus 2 pi on 3, because we're moving back to here, which happens to be pi on 3. And cos pi on 3 is 1 half, but it's negative. Okay, this stuff gets confusing, so we are going to do quite a few. So we're going to find the exact value of 10 5 pi on 4. Now again, I draw the unit circle, not because I'm explaining this to you, because this is how you do it. You draw yourself a unit circle, 5 pi on 4, where is it? Well, 4 pi on 4 is here, so 5 pi on 4 is, is one more. All right, and there's our angle. That's what we're dealing with, 5 pi on 4. Now, what we really want to find is our reference angle, this angle here. Now, how could you find this angle? Well, if we do 5 pi on 4 minus all of, all of this, minus pi, we'll get what's left over. So we can now say that 10 5 pi on 4 is equal to 10, 5 pi on 4 minus pi. 5 pi on 4 minus all of that, that'll give us our leftover angle. Now, is it positive? Is it negative? C, A, S, T, we're in the tan quadrant, which means it's going to be positive. I left a space here just in case I needed a negative, I don't. So, 5 pi on 4 minus pi, that's just pi on 4. 
Now I'm doing, I'm writing this down, but you can eyeball it. You can see that if that was five pi on four, this extra bit's just pi on four. So now we can say that that's ten pi on four, and solve that. So pi on four opposite over adjacent one divided by one. The answer is one. Um, okay, let's try again. All right, we're doing cosine 11 pi on 6. If I had a unit circle, that would make my life easier. So there is one here. Uh, now, 11 pi on 6, how do I figure that one out? Well, 12 pi on 6 is here, right? So 1 less than 12 pi on 6 is 11 pi on 6. So it's right there. Another way you can do that is just to count yourself around. Pi on 6 is 30 degrees, pi on 6, 2 pi on 6, 3 pi on 6, 4 pi on 6, 5 pi on 6, 6 pi on 6, 7 pi on 6, 8 pi on 6, 9 pi on 6, 10 pi on 6, 11 pi on 6. That is that angle right there. And I'm trying to find myself a reference angle, which is this angle right there. Now, how can I do that? Well, if I take the full rotation and subtract the green stuff, I'll be left with this little one here. So we can say that cos 11 pi on 6 is equal to cos um, 2 pi minus 11 pi on 6. Now, 2 pi is the same as 12 pi on 6. 2 pi equals 12 pi on 6. So 12 pi on 6 minus 11 pi on 6 is just pi on 6. Now I should pause for a minute. C, A, S, T. Should this be positive or negative? Well, I'm working in the fourth quadrant, which is our cosine quadrant. It's going to be positive in that quadrant. Remember, we're finding cosine here. So we're finding the x coordinate of the dot. And the x coordinate of that dot would be positive. All right, so cos pi on 6 um, adjacent over hypotenuse, pi on 6 adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 on 2. All right, I've done four examples around the quadrants. Now, there are a lot of different ways that this can go down because it can be cosine, sine, 10, it can be in the first, second, third, and fourth quadrant, and each time. You should draw yourself a circle. You should draw in the position of your angle. You should consider the reference angle. And then you should think about cast. Is it going to be positive or negative? And then you should figure out what the actual answer is using your standard triangles. Lots to do there, finding exact values all the way around the unit circle.